Scott here. I'm a volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, and I'm about to go pick up a pair of girls from the Desert Hot Springs Animal Care Center. A good Samaritan brought in these pair of girls after they found them in a tub next to a trash can. They said that one of them's blind and has cataracts. I'm gonna go get them, and you're welcome to come along with me. Desert Hot Springs is about an hour drive from where I live, and you know, everything went fine. They explained to me that someone had brought in the piggies, they found them in a bin next to a, a garbage can, and they gave me the piggies without any adoption fee, and they were really pleasant. Well, I got those girls. Got those girls out of the animal shelter. Here they are. They're actually relaxing pretty nicely. Nice and comfortably. I'm gonna foster them for a couple days, and then they're gonna come with me this weekend. They're gonna, I'll take them with me when I go in for adoption day. When I got to a stoplight, I couldn't resist giving oh, little baby Tallulah some scratches. So yeah, I went live on my channel, and some viewers ended up naming the girls Odette and Tallulah, Mama Odette and Baby Tallulah. What are you doing? Yes, I just got lettuce and peppers. I'm gonna spoil you when you get home. I'm gonna spoil you, sweet girls. You girls are divas. Oh. This is the fabric that I got from Dinafi. Irene sent this to me, but I thought the guinea boys, my little boars, would surely let these girls borrow the fleece stars. So we're on our way home. Almost there. This is a good angle to see Odette's cataracts in her eye, and she has it in both eyes. I can't imagine what they've been through in the last day or two being dumped by a garbage can in a bin and in this desert heat. When I left the animal shelter, the thermometer in my car read 102. Where's that girl? Tallulah! Where's Tallulah? She's looking at her mama. She was. Where'd she go? She's like a blur. Tallulah! I definitely didn't get to have them long enough because Saturday morning, we were off to the rescue. All right, we just made it to the rescue. Odette and Tallulah are right here. So, we're gonna get them situated, gonna get health checks for the girls, and, uh, and I gotta get to work. Adoptions, and selling some supplies, and whatever else needs to get done. That's what I'm here to do, whatever else. It's so bright and hot out, I put my hat on. Bath time? Yeah? Everyone's nice and clean now? Then it was time for the girls to get their health checks. <laughs> That is Tallulah, baby Tallulah. Oh yeah, she's precious. As named by Paul. She's got a funky nail, see that? Yes, she has a funky, funky uh, nail. So the that's, nail's missing. That's not likely, it's not a big deal, and it's probably gonna stay like looking like this always. Yeah. And it's not likely ever going to be grown back normally. Probably some type of trauma that happened. Yeah, maybe it got caught on something. Yeah. Oh. But other than that, and she has a hole in her ear right there. Yeah, I see that. I, I, it looks like a. It doesn't look like the kind that a tag would have been on. It looks more like a bite. It's a bite. And you know what's interesting? Because she has it here as well. Is that I see this from the people that got them from like you know breeders and, ah. and those warehouse breeding facilities that the pets get them from, and I think they just keep them together for. 
too crowded conditions and they and start they squabbling get... and fighting because you know what? Mama I noticed pushes that... her around a little bit, but not really aggressively. No, of course not. It's not Mama. Um, what I notice is that the, the babies that are born here, Scott, yes. they don't have that. Huh. They never end up with, with ears like this because they all have the space. Yeah. Right? So it's only and when they come from like that. Lots of hay to chew on. Eating, uh, facilities and stuff. The island behind you looks really great. I know. It looks hey, fun. Ursula. Ursula's wearing the orange radish carrot Ooh. thing. That's a carrot. I know, I know. <laughs> but. There was de there was debate about what it was before. Well, it's obviously that's because it was red. Is that the same one though, and you washed it's it or something? Like oh, a that makes sense. Oh, that could be oh, or a strawberry or. Did they get an ivermectin yet, Scott? No, they didn't get anything. Oh, these are the new girls. Yeah, yeah. that's Tallulah. 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 No, Scott named her. No, I didn't name her. Paul named her Tallulah. I, well, I went live. Who's Paul? Paul's just an awesome fan of oh, the guinea pig rescue, hi, and 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 uh, we were live, because because the thing is, it was 102 degrees in Desert Hot Springs, and they they dumped these girls in a plastic bin next to a garbage can, and it's like uh, over 100 degrees. It's like they this these piggies must have either been found early in the morning before it got hot or within minutes of getting dumped. And yeah. it's a miracle. miracle I mean, it's lives. nothing less than an impossible odds. So I'm just grateful that oh, someone took great. them. Yeah. They're very cute. Oh, good. She's amazing. I put her on the floor. She runs around yeah. like crazy. She, she does her zoomies. She's very good. Healthy, healthy and looking girl. Yeah. Very lucky thing. Thank you, Scotty. Oh, it was my you, pleasure to pick them up. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Mama. It was cool. So Mama pig. this is, is Mama pig? this is Odette, and so yes, another one of one of the subscribers, Knives, <laughs> named named her I like Odette. Odette. I like that name. It's I had a girl in class. Odette. Odette. Um, so, so Odette is not a young lady. No. Which makes me think that maybe she's not the mama. She's a sister? Or not even? No, not even. Maybe she's not even. Oh, man. Grandma. Yeah. Grandma. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Because, well, she's not super old, but I think she's coming up to three. You know? So it's unusual, the reason I'm saying it, it's unusual to have a three-year-old. She's, she's too old for babies. that baby. Oh, well, man. not too old, but usually they kind of... When there's big breeding groups, you know. But then where's mama? More guinea pigs, so it's uh, order, you know what I mean? It's just, it's odd. I don't know where mama is, but maybe, but I. Well, you heard it yeah. here. Because it's funny, because like on the live thing, someone was like, how are you so sure that they're mama and daughter? And I was like, because. Because they were surrendered together, they look yeah, alike. Yeah. And, and then I said, because I'm the guinea pig whisperer, don't <laughs> question me. Uh, <laughs> The true guinea pig, guinea pig whisperer is telling me. So that also tells me he's a little older. So, yeah. you know, it may be, maybe, but maybe not. Yeah. Well, not. I think it's less important that we really know that. But she also got a funky Oh, man. Head. It's more important that they're just healthy and safe. Well, this digit is, is kind of... calcification? Yeah, it is. This is like calcium, you know, this, this, when they get fungal, people get fungal nails, and it's kind of similar to that. She oh, has the dry, let me look at the dry, <laughs> the dry paws. Dr. Sauce. No, not really. I like to call Saskia Dr. Saskia just to hear her say, I'm, I'm not, not a doctor. A doctor. <laughs> not yet. Okay. So, no, I don't see it because I'm looking for a fungus that can cause the nail um, to get like that, kind of yeah. calcified. And also, because you'll see little whitish in here and, and red paw, and it's uh, actually fairly common. And, and, and that's something everyone needs to check the guinea pig for as well. I can't see these guinea pig's nails. Not when your nails are so pretty. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I want to go in the pool. <laughs> you're like my son. Like mom, up. you know I love you, right? Oh. What your, are hair you looks ask so, for? your hair looks so pretty today, Mom. <laughs> what do you want? Scotty does have some nails. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Awesome. Nope, volunteering here is all I could ask for. Oh, let me do your The gang's all here. Something interesting. It's a little brown piece here. The little yeah, callus it looks like a piece of poop. Oh. But it's not, it's actually callus that she probably stepped in a piece of poop. And then it kind of got stayed there a little bit, so that's how you see, but it's just callus. And you can actually just take that off with Do you have an appointment today? With a nail clipper. This is so small still, it's kind of hard, so. Maybe with the soak. No, you don't want to soak it because oh. it's going to take forever. Whoops. Unless you want to spend an hour watching the thing soak, you know, only you can do while she's soaking. I don't have time for that, so we just need to trim it out. Okay. Oh, comparison. There, see? So. The girls get to stay, right? Where? The girls get to stay. Ursula, are they staying? I think so. They, oh, Ursula Yay. stays. Yay. Yes. Because uh, I'm not really, I'm not really set up to house foster girls long term. My boys go crazy, and I got to keep them in a separate room. Okay, mommy. A little bit of this for you too. Okay, they're getting their ivermectin. Good, we're good. All good. Yeah, we're good. So. Were you checking for lumps and? Bumps yeah, checking for stones. Stones. They will often you'll find them here. If any picks with the girls, not boys, girls nope. only. I okay. didn't do this nail yet. I noticed this foot. Okay. And then I guess we'll set them up. They'll go back into the the herd. Someone sent me two of these nail clippers. I saw them. They They're they the clip. Best. They clip like Ever. butter. They. And, and there was no note with it. Really? There was no nothing other than these clippers. I'm go, wow, I, I got loads of clippers. I don't need clippers. Yeah. I'm like, wait. Hey, I like used those last clippers. week. They're the most amazing nail clippers. They it's smooth. just changed my life. So whoever sent me those clippers, ask those clippers. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> right. Well, what's These so good clippers? about them? Uh, did you use them? Was yeah. Made in Japan? Yeah, I did use them, and it feels like it's when you cut through, bell. it cuts like butter. Butter. It's yeah. just unbelievable. But not only that, but also so, they're ergonomically, they feel. Even my favorite Superman yeah. is nothing. like... Yeah. Nothing you can see. Unbelievable. Right? <laughs> unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know who, but there we go. Well, maybe in the comments they'll say, oh, that was me. Yeah, maybe. Or someone's just going to take credit. It was me, Saskia. I, I see a struggling and I thought, you know. Nice yeah, some clippers. fancy things. I did get that blue cooler for Saskia for Christmas one year. Oh, that's so long ago. We've had that for a long time now. Yeah, like three yes. years. Because the other one was falling apart. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so they're here. They're good. Um, I'll do one last shot when I get them set up in, in there, wherever they end up. So they need the cars as well. Yeah, Odette and Tallulah. Cool. There's Odette. And there's Tallulah. And they are in a nice big two by five. So there's their cards. Saskia's determined Odette's about two and a half years old and Tallulah's six months. I wrote that they're bonded to each other, so hopefully we can keep them together. Saskia says no, but I said I've already promised. Like, no, I've already promised. Me I've sound already. Like I'm really bad you're me. mean. No, we try to keep the ones together if we can. But I've already promised thousands of people that I would keep them together. Okay. I got to keep my word. If it was only 500, then I would say whatever. But thousands, Saskia. Besides, it's about me 
um, upselling anyways. And, and, and saying that having them be bonded is, make, makes it more likely. I, I would have expected that people were going to be lining up today already for the girls. No? You would think so. Um, well, it, it's really, really hot. And well, also, but here's the thing. They know that our policy is to keep them here under observation for a week. Right. So, which, which we really got to do. But they are available for adoption, as are all these cute girls here and all these handsome boys. And we've got all these wonderful volunteers waiting to help you. <laughs> so bring, bring your piggy and we'll find a match. Or we've even got, we've got bonded pairs. There's groups of girls and uh, where are the bonded pairs are over here. These guys are getting treatment. Here's some special needs boys, which really just basically, um, Capucci is blind. But you're not deaf. Look, he's looking right into my soul because he hears me. Well, he probably smells me. I'm sorry, Capucci. I'm a little ripe. He is so sweet, though. I think blind guinea pigs are incredibly adorable. And this is Rumi. Rumi's chilling in his corner space house. He's a poet and he doesn't know it. Well, I gotta get back to work. It's kind of a, a lull in the adoption day, which is good because we were able to do that health check and get these girls in. So they're in, and now I'm gonna have to go around and see what kind of supplies are surrendered, what I can do. Huh? What a pair. How long have you been doing this in this location, Saskia? People always ask, and I say like 10 years, and I say like 15 overall, am I wrong? It's been more now. This location over 10. Yeah, over. Because I've been here, I've been here since I guess 2013 or so at least. Yeah. Wow. I remember the first time you came. Mm -hmm. You tried to get me to adopt Valentino, who was like the biggest cooey. And then I ended up going about that. And I wish that I would have adopted him. I know. Because I love cooey. Cool yeah, it's surprising. It's cool. See, that okay. People don't listen when I suggest you get the yeah. yeah. Because when I do that, it's usually because it's a super special one. So yeah. listen, you know. You and you're like a shaman. You're reaching into my soul, and you know exactly. And it's so funny because a lot of people will, will have very, you know. Of course, we all know what we like, but a lot of people come and they like a specific look or whatever. Yeah. And what I would do if I go to rescue, I would be, I would ask the rescue, say, which one is a really nice. Who's the coolest? Personality. Yeah. Who has the coolest team? This kind of personality, because that's when you'll you'll get you'll yeah. get the good pig. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, I mean, they're all good, but you know what I mean. Yeah. That was fun. Okay, so that's it. Oh, look, there's a Tito. There's a Tito. Okay, guys. Well, we ended here. I gotta get back to work. I'm gonna show the fruit. Yeah. This is actually, it uh, looks not very appetizing, but it came off the cactus. And it's a little dried as well, like but bread. they'll still eat it. Looks like poppy seed muffin. Right? But they like it. Not all of them. But we'll, we'll eat it. Yeah, my boys ate theirs already. It's a, it's a special treat. Yeah. It's cool when you do it. I'm trying to end the video on And Saskia's feet is a guinea pig psychedelic fruit. Brandon, that one. And they're like, what are you doing, lady? Right, is anybody going to eat this weird purple thing? He's like, can you just give me a piece of lettuce, please? Oh. <laughs> All right, really got to get back to work. There's supplies that have been surrendered that need to be sorted. There's all sorts of things that need to be done. So I'm going to get back to work. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. It may not seem like much, but hitting that thumbs up button really helps out the channel, and that helps out all our piggies. So if you want to see more of these, then hit the subscribe with the bell notification, and you'll get a message every time we upload a video.